Hi friends! Today is going to be a tour of my Witchlands books. So I discussed earlier in the month that one of my weeks this week was going to be a witchy week and for the witchy week one of the videos was going to be a tour of my witchland shelf and kind of just like my witchlands paraphernalia that I have everywhere all over my office so we're gonna do that today if you haven't noticed in the past couple of videos I have changed my shelves around and I have moved my witchland shelf down one shelf so that you can actually see it in videos and um sorry the wiener dogs are doing weird things over there let's go over my books so down on the far left end we have uh the something strange and deadly series which is actually not part of the witchlands but is books by Suze so you might as well look at those anyway because they're gorgeous as well. The next five books are the original U.S. editions of Witchland series, Truth Witch, Wind Witch, Sight Witch, two copies of Blood Witch and then The Witch Shadow is technically the new edition of Witch Shadow and I'll show you the differences in the spines and covers when we take them off the shelf uh, but because I don't they are no longer printing the original editions because why would they after a cover change and because I have two copies of Witch Shadow I just added it to the end there and then next we have the four of the new editions Truth Witch, Wind Witch, Blood Witch, Witch Shadow behind my Serbian edition of Truth Witch which I love it is gorgeous and then the next four Truth Witch, Wind Witch, Blood Witch, Witch Shadow are the UK hardcover editions and then we have the Truth Witch, Wind Witch, Blood Witch, Ho Witch are the UK paperback editions. I don't know if they're going to release Witch Shadow in that style. Um, so far they've just released it in like a short paperback style of the regular cover. They haven't released it in that interesting cover. I don't know but if they do I will have it. A lot of these are signed. I don't know which ones. We're going to find out together. So we will start with my prized possession, my Serbian edition of Truth Witch. It wasn't actually very hard to get this and it was pretty inexpensive, but it is gorgeous. It is in Serbian, so it's not like I can ever read it, but like I had to have this cover. I would love to have some other foreign editions, um, but unfortunately I have not been able to figure out how to get those yet. This one's super easy. Others so far, not so easy. So maybe one day but I have my Serbian edition and I love it. So these are the four editions of Truth Witch that I own. Cool. Now you can see the difference in their spines. They all have a little bit of difference in them. And starting from what was on the side we have the paperback edition. Uh, the UK paperback edition which I really love these covers. I think they're super cool. The US hardcover, the original edition. I love these also. This is one of my favorites. The redesigned covers. This is the US cover. I don't like this one as much. Um, I don't love the armor on her, especially in the shoulder area. This is not a book that I would have picked up off the shelf just by looking at it. So I do like the style and I like the background and I like um, that you can see the tower in the back. Like I do like this artist. I think he does really amazing work, especially on some of the other covers. But this one, the armor is really just off-putting to me. That's a personal thing. And then the UK hardcover edition. I love the font on these. It is gorgeous. And it's just a completely different cover and I absolutely love it. I think this is probably the most realistic to Sophie's clothing that we see on a cover. Love this guy and it's Shimmer. For book two, which is Wind Witch, we will go through that same order. So we have the UK paperback edition. It's gorgeous. I just, these are gorgeous. The original US edition. the new style of the US hardcovers. I think the US paperbacks also look like this as well. 
but they have shiny foiling. This is actually raised on there. I believe these are all signed. Yep, these are all signed and personalized. I bought these from Suze's local indie so that I could get that. If you're interested in having a book from Susan Dennard signed, she does all of that through Schuler Books, which is her local indie. And then the UK hardcover edition. And again, just absolutely stunning. The, the work on this foil and the cover itself. Gorgeous. Love it. This is the only copy of Slight Witch that I have. These do have a new cover, which I will show you here. But I do not have a copy of that yet. Um, I need to get the paperback editions because they only printed these in the paperback editions. So the new cover in paperback editions. Blood Witch, which is technically the third book. This is the UK paperback edition. And this is the last of these that I have. I don't know if they're going to continue these for the rest of the book series, but if they do, I will get them. I love that these are like the, there's like mythical creatures in the book series. Um, this is one of them. This is the mountain bat. Each of those covers has one of the mythical creatures on it. Now at this is the point where we got our new artist. So both of the original editions, which are these ones with the pictures on the spine, and the new editions, which are the ones with the witch marks on the spine, these both have the same cover on them. And the UK cover is also the same, but it has the different font and also, again, the shimmery text on there. So same covers, different edges, which is, these are my favorite on the shelves to have spine out. They're absolutely stunning. Again, these are signed and personalized. And so for Witch Shadow, I have two of the US editions. Um, I bought I have bought one from Beacon Book Box, and I also got one from Suze's Local Indie. I was actually talking to her, I don't know if it was on, I think it might have been on Instagram. I shared um, that I was rereading Blood Witch, and she was like, that's great, I'm glad you're excited, I just signed your book. I just signed your pre-order which is like first off she knows who I am she knows which book was mine for the pre-order like your girl is dying uh <laughs> and so this is the beacon book box one that just has like the regular signature in it and then this is my special one my personalized one from her local indie and it says thank you for all your support remember the moon shines too But anyway, I love these covers. The only thing better than this cover, my friends, which I love purple. Don't get me wrong. Purple is like my favorite color. But the UK edition is blue and it's fucking gorgeous. This guy. Again, this font with the shimmer and blue. It's fantastic. Like this is the purple one, which is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. But this blue one fantastic. Um, again, these have these really pretty edges. I don't love these ones as much. I just remembered that I told you that we would look at Witchlands collection thingies and I didn't show those. So uh, this is my Witchlands tapestry. It came in an Outcray box and it's got Isolt and Safi, Merrick, and Adwan on it and there's down here in this bottom part right there a little picture of Sapi and Merrick's dance from the first book and over here this gorgeous bag was made for me by one Becca C. Smith who I will link down below uh, it's gorgeous it's a one of a kind uh, she cannot make them because it's like copyrighted material so she can't like sell them uh, she made me one as a gift Anyway, as I was saying before the phone rang, this gorgeous bag, I love it, it's wonderful. I could carry it, but I am still currently using my Witchland, or no, my Shadowhunters bag, So, uh, and I'm happy with that. So this is like beautiful wall art, as it should be. Sorry, my hands are really shaky today. And then I also have this pillow, which is the My Varushta, which is trust me as if my soul were yours, which is like a saying from the Witchland series and this came in I also believe in an Owlcrate box or possibly in the Blood Witch special edition box. I can't remember all of the things 
where things came from. It was from a book box. Okay. I also have these gorgeous pre-order cards. It's it's these these two, these three, these two. Those are paintings by someone else. It's Reimer and Merrick and Safi and Izult and Edwan and Styx and Vivia at the bottom. And these were the pre-order cards that came with the pre-order for Witch Shadow. They're huge. Like they're, they're actually the size of my hand. I love them. Hence why they're behind me on the wall. I also have these character cards that I usually keep clipped together and on my shelf and I just change out whoever's in the front randomly whenever I feel like it. These are like the more popular secondary females. Esme, Styx, Van Ness, Ryber. They just kind of live right there with some of my others that just kind of hang out behind me. And I think that's everything. So that is my Witchlands collection. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever read The Witchlands or if you are planning on reading it, if it's on your TBR. If you have questions about it, I'm happy to answer those for you. I am super excited for the final book in the series to come out. I don't know when it's coming out, but I'm excited for it. I probably do know when it's coming out. I've probably just forgotten. I know what the title is, but I don't remember when it's coming out. So that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye. So hollow, the blood as an echo, it's time for veins. My heart is so hollow, your voice is in love.